webinar control panel to allow all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. the use of we're creating in the merge and combining Good morning to everyone. We're going to start with today's session. Before that, in the last week's session, we were seeing merge transform. <clears throat> How we can merge data 
using BODS. So for this example, we try to combine <coughs> actual data with plant data. So we have taken two tables. One is the CE1 table and the second one was the CE2 table. We try to combine both actual and plan. We try to combine both actual and plan using a merge transform into a single table. Means both actual measures and plan measures are available in a single table. And on that particular single table, we created an analytic view. <coughs> Previously, we used to create two analytic views and then combine in a single calculation view. But now, we directly denormalize the table in the ETL process and created an analytic view on top of the table. So today, we'll see how to cleanse data whenever you have a special characteristics. <coughs> now sometimes what happens is when business enter data, they give tailing spaces, single quotes, double quotes, special characteristics, control characteristics. So this is junk data. Now when you do a reporting on this data, even in reporting this special characteristics are shown. In order to avoid, before I send data to HANA, I can apply data cleansing. I can perform data cleansing activity and finally move data to SAP HANA. So let us see how we can perform this. So what I'm going to do now, <coughs> so we have uh, a non-SAP source system. We have a non-SAP source system. I'll log into the remote desktop. <coughs> MSTSE. I'll just click connect. Hana user one. Password. <coughs> Let us open <coughs> Ana Studio BODS BODS Workbench and then MS SQL Management Studio. I'll just open all these three UI. So we have HANA Studio, we have 
Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and then we have Workbench Data Services Workbench so we have three UIs first what I'm going to do here is so this is the exercise I'm going to do so my requirement here is I'm getting data from MS SQL so the data that we have inside this is junk data we have all special characteristics <coughs> and at BODS I would like to apply data cleansing activity and when I move this table to HANA this table should have clean data without any special characteristics tail ring spaces control characteristics <coughs> <coughs> so here I would like to apply data cleansing activity So let us first log into MS SQL. So inside the MS SQL, I'm going to create a table. I'm going to create some entries with junk values. So I'll go to Microsoft SQL Management Studio. I'll expand a database folder. We'll go to the schema called best expand the schema, expand the database <coughs> right click on tables create a new table let's click on create a new table <coughs> excuse me So we'll enter a few column names BUKRS BUKRS VKORG MATNR KNDNR VV010 and VV070. We'll give data types. We'll take this as decimal. And this also will take it as decimal. So I'm going to save this table. So let us save this table. Click Save Table and give the table name as Jed Company Code Copa Data. So here I created a table. If you, if you expand the tables folder. So here we have tables folder if I expand. So here we would see a new table with jet company code COPA underscore data. I'll expand the table columns. So these are the columns I have in the table. <coughs> I right click on the table edit top 200 rows, edit top 200 rows 
I'll start entering data into this table. So I'll enter, I'll give space. So these are tailoring spaces. Basically I'm giving space before I enter data. I'll give as thousand and then I'll give at the rate dollar. I'll try to take single quotes. 7,000. I'll take double quotes. MATNR. <coughs> M hyphen 2000 M2000 KNDNR the 001 1000 <coughs> and 3000 1300 I'll take uh, dollars ash at the rate I'll take double quotes, space, 3000. M, 4000, 002, 2000, and 400. Three hundred. M five hundred five thousand zero zero three three thousand hundred. So here I have <coughs> so so these are the so this is the data I have here all the junk values I have. So I'll select the table, right click and execute SQL. Once I execute SQL, the data gets saved. When I select the table, right click on the table and select top thousand rows. <coughs> so this is the data we have in the table. Now my requirement is if I take the same data to HANA and if business notice this is the data that we have in the table or in the reporting it is a concern for them so we need to cleanse this data before it moves to HANA so what I'm going to do now so this is the table we have so we have two data stores, one to connect to source, another data store to connect to HANA. So now I'll go to workbench. I'll go to the workbench. So this is the workbench. So we have one project called sales project. I'll right click on the project, new, create a data flow. I'll create a new data flow. Inside the data flow I can define the ETL process. So in here I can do data cleansing. I want to do data cleansing. I'll give the name and provide the description and click finish. So once we finish
once we finish. I'll import this table. So this is the MSSQL data store. Or if you want, you can create a new data store for MSSQL. Right click new data store MSSQL 1 MSSQL 1. Always we can reuse an existing data store. <clears throat> one data store or one connection is enough to import multiple tables. But if you have missed out for this session, from the previous session, how to create a data store, provide MS SQL details, a database, database type, Microsoft SQL Server, database name, name of the database is GNS. GNS is the name of the database. Let's go back and provide the database server name as GNS. Provide the database name. <coughs> database name. Right click on the system. Click properties. Click additional properties. So here we have, sorry, right click on the system here. So here the user ID is best and database is also best. So we'll give these details. Database name is best. Username best and the password is W capital welcome one two three and click on test connection. Then the other day also it is case sensitive. So both are in caps and the password and click test connection. Connection test succeeded, click close and let's click finish. So once we finish, <coughs> now here we have the new data store, MSSQL1, double click on the data store double click on the data store click on tables click tables click on the second icon import object by name so from here I can import this table so what's the table I created in MS SQL so this is the table I'll copy this table I'll go to a data services workbench, paste the table and click finish. So it imported the table we created in MS SQL. <coughs> Expand the table. So these are the columns inside the table and click save. So once you click save, expand MS SQL data store, expand tables, expand DBO, <coughs> a 
and here you can find the table jet company code underscore copa underscore data right click on the table and view data so this table is now in the repository which is best and this is the data that we are reading on the fly so when we execute data preview at that point of time it is going to the source system and we are able to view data so I will click close and we created a data flow dot data flow I will click on this select the table drag and drop inside the data flow so when you drag and drop it is asking whether you want to make this table as a source or a target because we are reading data from the table I am not loading data we are not loading but we are reading data so I will make it as a source so we will make it we will make it as a source because we are trying to read data from this table so what is my requirement target is HANA and source is MS SQL so for target table I will select template table I will select this table called template table <coughs> drag and drop this table inside the data flow data store click on the data store select HANA as a data store and click OK <clears throat> give the table owner the table owner is best and table name provide the table name and click OK so this is the target table and this is the source table so here we have a transform called basic lens so use basic lens transform to easily remove unwanted cares such as leading spaces nulls control cares to replace values so I'll select basic lens drag and drop into the work area I'll select query transform I'll select the query transform and drag and drop onto the work area link table to query query to basic lens and basic lens to target table I'll select query I'll select query transform <coughs> I'll open from the bottom I will expand this. I will select all my required columns. I would select all my required columns. I will select drag and drop. I will select MITNR. 
I will select VV010 and 70. <coughs> so whenever I select a column, you see there is a arrow that is pointing to the right hand side. For this column called K and DNR, we do not have that arrow. So it means that this attribute I am not mapping to the target table. We are not taking this to the target table. So this is an un unmapped object. All others are available in my output schema. So I'll click on basic lens. The basic lens, now we are on the basic lens transform. The basic lens transform, this is the input schema. So these are the input columns. Except K and DNR, I have all other columns. And this is the properties pane. Output fields. All these are output fields. And for these output fields, what is the cleansing properties on each column? So you have multiple columns over here. We have multiple columns over here. On each column you can apply cleansing properties. <coughs> so the default cleansing properties do you see here? A leading spaces, tailing spaces, single code, double code, control cares. So what I'm going to do now, we will not apply any transformation. Just as it is, I'm going to leave it. We will not apply any transformation. And finally, the structure is available in the template table. So this is the template table. The final structure is available in the template table. <coughs> I'll just save this data flow. We'll save this data flow and just click execute. Before we execute, just validate. Let us validate and click execute and click finish. So once we finish, the table is creating in the HANA system. So now once the job is successful, job is successful, view trace log, job completed successfully. Now what we are going to do now, I will go to HANA Studio, I will expand, expand the system. <coughs> I'll expand catalog. Once we expand the catalog, we'll expand the best schema. So we'll right click on the tables folder and click filters. So we will copy paste the table, click OK, right click on the table, open data preview. So let us compare data from HANA to that of the MS SQL. So what data I have in the MS SQL? So this is on MS SQL and this is on HANA. So we see here for 7000 automatically single quotes and double quotes are removed. 
for even for 3000 double quotes are removed you see there is a space in front of single quote the space is removed for 1000 there is a space the space is removed but you still have <coughs> so single quotes double quotes tailoring spaces all these things are by default removed by the system so if I go back to workbench click on the data flow click on the data flow click on the basic lens so by default all this applies <coughs> leading spaces tailing spaces all these apply by default but some system is unable to cleanse like you see dollar ash at the rate percentage all these are unable to cleanse by the system so whatever the characters that system is unable to cleanse I'll just try to note down those I'll open a notepad I'll note, note down those uh, what is not able to cleanse by system So this is system is unable to cleanse these so what I'm going to do now I'll go back to BODS I'll click on basic lens so for BUKRS you see only for BUKRS so it's unable to cleanse at the rate dollar Ash so these are the values it is unable to cleanse so I'll go to BODS and the basic cleanse so here you have something called search and replace I will click new I'll search for at the rate at the rate dollar So I'll repeat the same step for VKORG. So now I'll select VKORG. So every column we have to select individually. Rekrg. So this is for BUKRS, and this is for Rekrg.
So once you are done, once you are done with this, click validate. Validation successful. Click close and click execute. Click yes and click finish. Click view trace log. Job completed successfully. I'll go back to HANA and I'll refresh over here. Once you refresh, it has cleansed for BUKRS and VKORG. So this was the data before cleansing. And this is the data that I have after the data has been cleansed. So for any values that are not cleansed by the system, yes, we can go to the data flow. On each column, we can see what are the values and we can replace them with blank. So this is how I can use basic cleanse transform. So until now, we're basically seeing a single table. Now when you want to perform a join operations inside a query, so here you see joins inside a query transform. So you can add, you can take join type as an inner join you could take left outer join so let us try to see how to use joins inside the query transform how we could use joins inside the query transform so I'll go to the ECC system I'll click tables I think we already have these tables T001 and TVKO or we can use another table like VBAK we also have VBAK and VB VBRP so VBRP is a building table and VBAK is a header table So I would like to create a join. Right click on the project, new, create a data flow. So I want to join sales order table and bill table and get net value for both orders and bills. So basically both on sales orders and billing, I would like to view my net value. I'll click finish. So I'll expand ECC system, ECC data store. So we have to click save after we import tables. Otherwise those tables will not be visible over here. 
So let us take these two tables. One is VBAK. So ECC tables, I can only take them as source. We cannot take them as target. So here we have VBAK as a source table and we have a VBRP. So VBAK is the sales order header table and VBRP is the sales order sorry it is bill item table. So it is bill item table and sales order header table. So my requirement here is I would like to join both of these tables using a query transform. So I'll join VBA kit to query and VBRP to query. I'll take a template table, data store. I would like to send this data to MS SQL. I would like to write this data to MS SQL. Target owner DBO. Table name. Get sales order. Bill. A link query to target table. I'll click query. I'll click joins. So we need to find relationship between VBAK and VBRP. So to find relationship We'll go to ECC system, log into ECC. SC11, VBRP. This is billing document item data. I need to join with sales order header data. VBAK. So in order to join both these transaction tables, we, for C1 and C2 we have done a union. Both are transaction tables and here also we have both transaction tables from sales but we would like to perform join operation on this. So I would like to join VBLN which is a sales document. So my requirement here is I would like to pick up the sales document from sales document header data and for this corresponding sales document in VBRP. I would find I would find the corresponding sales document here which is AUBL. So if I click contents VBLN click execute Let's take an order ID 4970. For this order, we should be able to find the order 
in VBLM, so I'll click settings, user parameters, sorry, click settings, field selection for output, I'll click find, find for AUBL, find for AUBL, which is a sales document in the bill table. I'll click find. So AUBL is the sales document in the billing table. I'll select. I'll click continue. And click continue. So it AUBL I'll copy paste the document and click number of entries. I have 12 entries for this document. I'll click execute. So here this is the A sales document, sales document ID. For this sales document ID, these are my corresponding bill number, nothing but the invoice number. So I'll just click on this sort. So here, here we have 5178, 5183, and 5197. So for one order, we have three bill IDs, and these are nothing but the items. For each document, this is the item. POSNR is a bill item, and and this is the bill amount, nothing but the invoiced amount. I'll just sort on this. So this is the invoice amount. That's the total invoice amount here. The total invoice amount is this. So my requirement here is I would like to join sales order header table with that of the item. So I'll join VBAK VBLN with VBRP AUBL. I'll join on AUBL. So let's go to BODS on the query transform. <coughs> so here you see joins, click add. We see a small bulb like icon. Click on this icon. So before we click, uh, we need to specify my left schema is the VBAK and the right schema is VBRP. So on both these tables, I'm doing an inner join. I'll click on the bulb like icon. Once we click on the bulb, uh, bulb icon, so you see there is a dialog box. Detect joins dialog. So this is the dialog box that is open once I click on that icon. So here you see there are a lot of joints that are proposed by system. But what is my join condition here is VBAK VBLN is equal to VBRP AUBL. 
So I require only one join condition. All the other join conditions So whatever is necessary we can choose so we can choose VBAK so I'll just choose this one I'll just confirm one and click OK so this is a join condition I'll reject everything I just choose one VBAK VBL VBRP you have to change this AU BL. So this is the expression for the join. So this is the join condition. So once we define the condition in the output schema, so what are the columns that you require for the output? So what I would like to see here is I would like to see my sales document. For this sales document, what is my bill document? So for each sales document, now you have three billing documents. For each billing document, what is the bill item? What is the item? And then you also want to see what is my net value of the sales document, which is NETWR net value of the billing document net value of the billing item in document currency so we want to see the amount I'll drag and drop this NETWR so here we are able to see what is my order what order I place for this order what is my billing associated billing document for the what is the item and what is the amount for each item So the join I've given here, I've done an inner join that is getting a common values between VBLN and VAUBL of VBRP and VBAK. If you want, you can further choose to see. If you also want to see the order net value, you can also include NETWR which is the net value of the sales document. If you want, we can also include this. So one is the billing document, the other one is the... But this is in header and this is item. This is header and this item. So we'll just validate now. So by using a join condition, we're able to join two tables and see the desired output selection and finally it is loading to MS SQL also we can load to HANA I'll also load to HANA I'll also link to so we have one table creating in HANA and other table creating in MS SQL I'll validate and finally let's click execute click yes and click finish completed successfully so now I'll go back to so we'll go back to the HANA system or the MS SQL I'll copy the table right click on the tables folder click filters copy paste the table so this is the table right click open data preview
I'll click on analysis. So this is VBLN. So for VBLN, VBLN1, this is a build document. I'll use the advanced filter. I'll click on advanced filtering. I'll drag and drop the VBLN. I'll click on this show list of values. I'll find from this. I'll find for 474970. 4970. Click OK. So this is the sales document and this is the billing document. For this, each bill document. So when I join both these tables, I'm able to get my sales document, billing document and the net value of each of these documents. Beyond you can see by item. So these are the different items. So for each billing document, we can see for each billing document what is my net value. So you are seeing order, so the corresponding order what is my bill, what is the item and what is my net value of the sales document. If you want to see for both bill and order So both NETWR, so this is the bill and this is the order. So this is the ordered amount for each item and this is the bill amount. So in this way we can join two tables and populate into a single table by using the join condition. So today we're seeing two exercises, one for data cleansing, how to perform data cleansing from non-SAP to HANA and second one based on sales orders and billing we would like to combine, sorry, we would like to join based on a condition and see the output. Anyone have any questions on today's session? Please type in your questions. I can read out your questions and answer your questions. Thank you.
So <clears throat> here's the question here. When we select HANA database as a target system, the table is created as a column table by default. Can we change it, for, it to a row table? Yes, we can change it to a row table. So you have to basically go to the, you have to go to the table properties. And then you can select whether you want to do it as a column or a row. For every table that you import, you can select what table you would like to do it. So whether you want to take it as a column store or you can take this as a row store. Any type you can take. But mostly it is a column table for business. Whatever the business tables, we have to take it as a column store. The next question, what is the purpose of Z, like Z, C, C, Z, COPA? Is it any code? <clears throat> it's not necessary. We need to start with Z. Uh, I got used to starting with Z. Especially in uh, SAP systems, whenever we do development for custom, custom development, we use start with Z and Z or Y. I got used to it, so I'm just uh, continuing to use it. Otherwise, it is not necessary to give tables with Z or Y. Either in HANA or in BODS, there is no naming convention. But yes, we have the naming convention on the source system, on the ECC system, when you want to do a custom development. Otherwise, in BODS or in HANA, we do not have this naming convention. We are fetching data from two tables in HANA and the output column, VBLN, VBLN1. Can we able to change the names? Yes, you can change the names. All you have to do this is, all you have to do is, you have to go to the, you can just go to the columns and the query transform. The query transform, when you give the output, when we provide the output, here you see you're taking this as, you can change the name, whatever is relevant, and then you can get this into the target system. You can edit the names of the table. So for any column, you can just have to change the description. Also in HANA, by default, this table names will be available. You see here in the comment, VBLN is a sales document, billing document. This is in HANA. So this is a table in HANA. This is a column store. The POSNS bill item, billing item, sales order document. So you can see this comments. In BODS, can we use same database as source and target? Yes, we can use. You have to choose the same, but ECC will not be allowed. ECC, you cannot take source and target. You can take database, HANA, MS SQL. All this we can take source and target.
thank you everyone we'll see you in tomorrow's session have a good day to everyone thank you